is really amazing. This is beyond what they were making this up. <laughs> if we can make up stuff like this, well, then we're gods. Anyway, if we can make up stuff like this, either way you look at it. This is 2008, coming up to the anniversary of the coronation. And this is just been a revelation right here. Some may have thought about it, but I guess we beat you to it because we're going to reveal it. So you may be thinking, keep on thinking. You understand? But we'll speak the word. The warning of Yahweh from Genesis chapter 6. Now in Genesis chapter 6 speaks of, the, speaks of the flood. We've been talking about Noah and Noah's ark and a lot of the fleshy people, they don't like the story of Noah and Noah's ark. And in the New Testament it shows you that the flood and the, the mind of the flood is, is terrifying to the to the fleshy and the those who are those who are under the captivity of Satan. They don't want to deal with the flood. They want the flood to be a, a make believe something, you know. Flood is the flood didn't happen, you know, it, it was it was localized. No, there's localized floods now, but that deluge, deluge was universal. But anyway, in Genesis chapter 6, in the Rashid, the book of, in the Aras, the Rashid, the Rash, Sit, the Rashid, you understand, in the head. That's literally what it means. And we're coming to the head of this, this creation right now. But the flood, Genesis chapter 6, speaks of the marriage of the Canaanites with the uh, Sethites. And in the book of Hanok, it, it mentions how, as well as the book of Adam and Eve, how the Sethites were enticed to come down off of the Jantara, off of the mountain, by the parties that were going on by the Canaanites. They could see it, you know, the lights and, you know, all the stuff that was going on with the Nephilim and the others. But anyway, here's what it says, and here's the revelation concerning Abu Qadus. His imperial majesty would be 116 years old. Now, some people say, well, he, 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 looks, he looked rather old in, in some of the pictures, so some say that he must be dead by now. You know, they, they've gone from three funerals and to, um, you know, three burials and, and to that he died then, and Gistu says, no, he didn't. He said, we didn't kill them, but then he laughs and say, and Gistu, Hila Mariam says, then they say, I killed him. And he's like, you know, that, that kind of nervous laughter where it's like, you know, there's no honor among thieves, that him and the Durgu had an agreement, now they're trying to point it on him. And he's like, nah, I didn't do this either. Now all this is coming out now. The overstand after 20-something years, all of it comes out now. But 116 years, 2008, all right, 2008. 116 years. 2012, you've heard a lot of talk about 2012, right? And he said the end of the world, the Mayan calendar, so forth and so on. Well, how old would Abu Qadus, aka also known as his imperial majesty, how old would he be? 120 years. So check the revelation, the warning of Yahweh. Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh kind of strange English isn't it for that he that he you understand that he is also flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years so his Imperial Majesty in the year 2012, Abu Qadus, that is, to us the children, would be 120 years in 2012. 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar. No more prophecies according to the Mayans after that time. 2012. What is going to happen in 2012? What about 2012? Could this be one of the reasons that the New World Order is in such a breakneck at moving at such a breakneck speed to fulfill the end times prophecies and scenario well of course but remember what the scripture says 
This is the patience and the faith of the saints. You understand? This is the patience and the faith of the saints. That he who takes into captivity must be taken into captivity. He who kills by the sword, by the sword he must be killed. Here is the patience, my brothers and sisters, and the faith, my brothers and sisters, of the saints. More on the 120 years, 2012, Abba Kedus, but remember the warning of Yahweh. My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, after the giants, when the Bani Elohim, the children of God, the sons of God, came in to the daughters of men, they bear children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of the Shem, men of the name, men of renown. Now the purpose of Yahweh in the judgment is that Elohim he saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth just as it is right now in this present day and time and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually it was only evil continually and it repented Yahweh that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart and Yahweh said I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. Fourfold, man, one, beast, two, creeping thing, three, fowl of the air, four. For it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah, no, found grace in the eyes of the Yahweh. And what did Yehoshua say? What did Yehoshua say? As it was in the days of No, so shall it be at the time of the Son of Man. More to come, my brothers and sisters. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Pray. Watch and pray that you be worthy to stand before the face of the Son of Man. 120 years. Amazing. Wow. 120 years. Now we know that people can live to be 120 years old. It's not it's not strange that someone can live to be 120 years, is it? Mm -mm. By no means is it strange. I mean, every day, or, well, not every day, but almost every you know other day on TV, they're telling you about old people, people who have lived to be 100, I think even recently, almost 120 years. And this is people living in Babylon, you understand, living in this bad part of the world and bad part of the earth. And I've been talking about those living close to the womb and the navel of the earth. So it's not strange that someone can live to be 100, 120 years even. The 2012 prophecy has everything to do with Moa Andesa, Zem Negeri Yehuda, Kadamawi, Haile Selassie, Shvumek, Ziyabe, Nukush, Negesh, Ze Ethiopia has everything to do with Abba Kedus. We have four years. We have four years. Four years. You understand? Don't look at them as years. Look at them as days. Look at them in terms of every day, every moment every hour you understand think of repentance 
Think of repentance, the, the metanoia. Change your mind. Don't be conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Remember the words of Yahushua HaMashiach. Remember to ask, to seek, to knock. Remember, remember. Keep and do it.